What's up my friends, El Chupagoat here, and today we're going to be learning how to upgrade the Thunder slash Lightning Bow, whatever you want to call it, you get the idea. Now before we get started, we're going to want to go ahead and call the tram inside the spawn room. It's going to spawn you a power up, hopefully a double points or max ammo. If you get the double points, try to wait until you uh, actually receive it so that you can get more points for your zombies and therefore get to the dragons quicker. The max ammo is also really nice. There are three dragon heads located throughout the map. You're going to want to stand under each of them and kill some zombies so that they can fill up with souls. Usually takes roughly six to eight zombie souls. Also, another thing to point out is you're going to want to kill the zombies one at a time. If you kill them multiple at a time, it only takes one soul. So, uh, no bueno. The first dragon is located right outside spawn. Um, the second dragon is located in the speed cola room. And finally, the third dragon is located in the pyramid room, shown here. Once you've filled up all your dragons, you're going to want to step up here and pick up the Wrath of the Ancients bow. After receiving the bow, you're going to want to head up to the weather vane and shoot it. You should hear a faint noise. An arrow will spawn right in front of the brick and you're going to want to pick this up. This is going to bind you to your quest. There are three beacons located throughout the map. You're going to want to shoot them with your bow until they light on fire. The first location is right outside the clock tower. The second location is outside the death ray machine and the third location is located in the rocket test facility site thing above. If you're into saving points and time, you can actually take a little shortcut. Instead of teleporting down to the rocket test facility, you can go right up here to the room above double tap and spam the bow a few times uh, as shown here until you see the fire or smoke lit. Next, you're going to want to head down to the pyramid room. There are five glowing symbols located on the walls. Uh, you're going to want to wall run past all of these symbols. Um, but before you do that, to turn on the anti-gravity, there are also four plates that you're going to have to stand on until they make a clicking sound and glow. Um, after you stand on the fourth one, it should turn to anti-gravity and then you can do the wall run. It's a little bit difficult at first, but I believe in you. You can do it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You'll know you've ran across all five symbols correctly when you hear a little completion noise at the end. Now there should be three glowing urns located throughout the map. Yes, three. I know. I'm sorry. It's repetitive. You're going to want to stand at each of the three locations and fill the urns with roughly six zombie souls. After you fill each urn, uh, go up next to the urn and charge your bow. There should be a spark coming off the tip of your arrow. You're going to have to shoot those beacons that you shot in the beginning one more time with the sparking arrow. If you miss, no problem. You can walk right up back to the urn, charge your bow, and try again. The first urn location is located inside the clock tower shown here. The second location is in the room above double tap. And the third location, you guessed it, is in the rocket test facility. After completing all three urns, you're going to want to walk back up to the weather vane that you shot in the beginning. There should be a blue cloud of smoke or haze, whatever you want to call it. Go up to that cloud, interact with it. It should take a second, but an arrow should spawn right outside of it. Pick it up. Next, you're going to want to head back down to the pyramid room. There should be four boxes located outside of the pyramid. Go to the box that has a lightning bolt symbol on it and interact with it. It should give you max ammo. Now for the final step, you're going to want to fill this chest with roughly 20 zombie souls. After you've done that, you should hear a slight noise. Go back up to the chest, interact with it again. It'll take your bow for a few seconds. After it's done, you can walk back up and bam, bada bing, bada boom, you're done and your bow is complete. Anyways, if this video helped you at all, please don't forget to support me by leaving a like and subscribing. Lastly guys, if there are any other videos or tutorials you guys would like to see, please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comment section below. Peace.